Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the Internal Information Technology Group. I got good news. It's time to do an upgrade. We're going to be upgrading the Celeste RX-1 gaming rig, which uses the Intel Core i7-860 with a 1050Ti SC from EVGA to a Ryzen system. I had money finally to buy a Ryzen 7... I was going to go 1800X, but I didn't have... It would have taken too long to get here, so I went with 1700X. But, that's neither here nor there. You all want to see the good stuff, don't you? Well, here it is. Right after... I love the power of video editing. <clears throat> Anyways, so here's the game plan. I'm going to pull all the guts out of this Less RX-1 rig. Uh, give it to my mom and her, basically upgrade her computer with my old system. Her system is currently running a socket 478 due to her motherboard blowing up from her 775 for some right reason. When I took it apart, I saw a liquid residue. Hers did not have water cooling in it, so I'm pretty sure someone accidentally spilled water and it didn't tell me. But anyways, let's get to the unboxing. Oh, and then I'm going to be, well, as you can see, we're building another server. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get to getting all the stuff out. I bought the Aurorus. Please. Please don't tell me like I said that wrong, so I'm pretty sure I know I did. But, yeah. Anyways, the X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming Motherboard Socket AM4. This is compatible with both previous generation and current generation Ryzen. And, as you can see, it's brand new. Uh, but before we open that all the way, let's see what else we got to work with here. Um... This is going back. I well, I like Asus and I trust them. Um, trust them more than most brands besides the BioStar and EVGA. Uh, it's just I didn't. I wound up having to work on a board like this once. This actually this exact board for a friend of mine, and it was very picky on RAM. Uh, the person that runs the YouTube channel Chuck's Basics recommended this one for me. Said it's a lot less picky on the RAM. So, we're going to go with this for our gaming rig. Um, what else did we get? Those are for the power. Ah, yes. 16 gigabyte, uh, 2 8 gigs of DDR4 memory. Viper from Patriot. Once again, this is for work on the car. Here is going to be the main part of the build. An AMD Ryzen 7 1700X CPU. Let's see how far we can overclock this. I'm used to overclocking with the older style BIOS. Where everything is controlled by keyboard and enter. Whereas the more modern ones that we use these days use mouse and all kinds of stuff. And it's a lot more refined. I also have an EVGA 750 watt power supply. And that's about it. Oh wait. And instead of using the, I hope you can see in there, the uh, 120 millimeter Corsair AIO, we are going with this one. I teased pictures of this on Twitter and Facebook. <clears throat> Oh, it has really good reviews, so it should work just fine for what I want. If y'all notice, I'm going with a theme here. This is red. This is red. This should have RGB so I can make it red. AMD is the color of red, so our build is going to be more red in color than anything. Just to show our support for AMD for once again... Putting up a very good competition in Intel. Um, but yeah, this is 
made by Gamer Storm. It's a 360 radiator. Has a glass tube in it. Skeeved fins from the fans. Double bladed. Power for motor. Yada yada yada. Um. Oh. AMD socket support. AM4. AM3 plus. AM3. All the AMs pretty much. FM2 plus. FM2 and FM1. Um. Also supports Intel sockets LGA2011 V3, LGA2011, LGA1366, and LGA1155 X, any 1150 boards. So, this should keep it nice and cool. And yeah, come along with me as I do this build.